I ate lunch with Coach Algio last year. We had a lot of fun at the table. Um, once I made the mistake of telling him that my wife and I were going on a hayride, and he never let me forget it. The words of Algio himself, he was the man, the myth, the legend. I have so many memories from his class. Christmas caroling, being Shaughnessy's campaign managers, twinning with him on twin day. It was just, he was the man and I miss him. I remember the first time I met uh, Coach Algio was down on the fields before the stadium was built and the soccer teams and the football teams used to share the fields. And I remember him walking over to me and introducing himself to me uh, even before I even started here at O'Hara. So I always remember that, but every day in the hallway or uh, in the teacher's lounge, I would see Coach early in the morning and we would always do a little fist bump uh, every day that I saw him. So Coach, um, I know you had a great devotion to the Blessed Mother, so this one's for you, Coach. Mr. Algier was a great guy who cared a lot about people. Uh, he always incorporated faith into what he had. Um, he just got to, uh, people where they are today and showed them a guy that he cared. Dan was my neighbor for five years here, um, and I really miss him. It's so quiet up here without him. He would come in my class every day, say hello, fire up my classes. Um, it's, it's a great loss, and I really miss him. Coach Hazio was a, he's a great guy. He's more like a, a friend and a mentor than just a coach. He's, uh, he's greatly missed around the house. I first met Coach Algio, it must have been 20 years ago, over that. He was helping his dad at Lansdale Catholic, uh, all around good guy back then. And uh, then when I came back to O'Hara here 10 years ago, he was one of the familiar faces that I knew. And he uh, was always uh, glad to see me. We always talked about his dad, he was still coaching. And uh, the big thing I remember about Dan Algio is he never had a bad thing to say about anybody. Always positive and upbeat. And I know. When I go to the faculty room or the faculty lunch room, uh, I still miss him not being there. The best memory I had with Coach Alio is when I was near my locker and I said a mean word to the student, and then he was like, "Come here," and I'm like, "Okay." And then he said, "Are you are you um, sorry because you got caught? Are you sorry because you're sorry?" And I'm like, "I'm sorry because I got caught." And he was like, "Just make sure you don't do it again." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> That's my best memory of Coach Algeo. He was really the best, and I miss him. I didn't even know Mr. Algeo's name when I came here to O'Hara to help out last year. I did know a teacher who stopped by every day, uh, and he would check on us, see how we were doing, and give us a... And, you know, obviously he was a very nice man. He was a caring and a special individual. Coach Yadio was a great coach, a great guy. And um, everyone always loves to see around the hallways and the highways and the first ball. My best memory of Coach Algio was he would always come in to the office and sing Hey Tiki to me to the song, Hey Mickey. And if he was in a really good mood, he would do dance moves along with it. My fondest memory of Coach Algio was when I would always walk to class and he would be in the hallway singing Iggy Azalea Fancy. It was like the best thing of my day to see him out there spend time with all the students. I remember Dan every day being in the back of the chapel getting ready for communion service. A man of great faith, a man that was very close to our Lord. At the same time, I do remember him not only being concerned with his team and players on how to be the best players, but also how to be a man of God. And we had a mass before every, every, every game. Every, before every game, he was there with his team in the chapel. For me, it was always a great example. Dan, we pray for you, and now we ask you to pray for us. I think one thing I always remember about Coach Alvio was he did on the field in the classroom. He used to always keep his kids back down the stairs and be like, we're now. And then he just turned around and be like, how you doing, buddy? Like, I just asked you how you did call or something. You know, wonderful, I think he always did. 
there was never a dull moment. Uh, Algie was a great man, no words to describe. He was like a second father to me. And uh, being in the classroom with him was like no other on the field. I mean, he taught you many things that no one else could teach you. He was just a great, great guy. For me, Algie was, uh, he's like a disciplinarian because I was kind of lazy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of lazy, dude. <laughs> so like, you know, like a couple times he made me run. I used to be mad, but it was all love. Yeah, he's probably like the best coach I've ever had. Coach Algie was a great man. He was able to inspire us, play sports, and do a lot of studies. Our parents are going to do the same with that. I loved every morning starting my day with Coach Algio. He was a homeroom sub for me. He would come in every morning, and no matter how stressed I was, always made me smile. And forever famous for saying, hey, can you do me a favor? Have a great day. When I think of Coach Algio, I can't help but think every day my morning started off about 7.40 a.m. I'd give the, as he drives by in the car, and then he would stop suddenly, give me a look. Right there. And then of course later on in the day, I'd see the coach in the hallway, I'd get to JK, what do you say? It's a beautiful day, and it's not even May. I miss that every day of the week, I miss the coach. Great man, good people, GPFL. God bless. Coach Algio was just a guy who just brought such a great energy and made you happy. You just couldn't help but play. It was never a bad day for him. Just, just one of those guys. I firmly believe that Mr. Algio wore the bald head better than any man to ever live. <laughs> and um, I really appreciated Mr. Algio that he. Um, really let me flourish as, as an individual in his class and um, it was just really great when he would get like really big angry and throw desks around the room and throw chairs. My name's Brum, but to Algio he would call me Sunshine and he constantly told me I was his favorite student and that he liked me better than my sister and my favorite thing that he would say to me every single day is bro, I'm going to need you to shut the heck up. Algeo first and third period last year. Um, he always made my mornings great and I really miss him a lot. And I miss seeing him in the hallways.